So this is part three of magnetic fields of transatom spin nuclide electronic condensate. You might have noticed I spelled that wrong. Uh, G.V. Mashinsky. Just uh, I want to pull some, a couple of things out from seven. The account of exchange interaction and the Lorentz force. The energy of attraction of identically oriented electrons is a very significant and is of the order of the energy of the Coulomb repulsion. I'm going to skip a whole bunch of stuff here, and this I think is a very important. With the, an increase uh, in the nuclear charge Z equals 22, the number of paired electrons on the shells will vary. Um, figure 17 here shows the number of paired electrons in the first orbital n equals 1, depending on the charge of the nucleus Z for Lorentz force directed towards the nucleus. Now, I think what I really want to pull out here, and I'm going to zoom in if I can, yeah, there is that uh, the paired electrons can only equal the available electrons all the way up to uh, titanium 22. And uh, essentially, what it's saying is that when you go beyond Z, uh, Z equals 22, uh, then the, uh, you, can, you can't store any more electrons in the inner shell, uh, in the inner uh, uh, socialized uh, pair um, electrons around the nucleus. And uh, uh, so other electrons go into uh, other shells. Uh, uh, but you can have 22 all the way through to nickel uh, and then it drops down uh, on zinc and so forth. And uh, this could be one explanation as to why, uh, as I was saying earlier, the, the more electrons you have on the inner shell, um, the uh, more powerful the magnetic uh, uh, induction, but uh, it, it does spread out a bit more. But with titanium, you could, you've you only got 22 available, and it can take 22 on that inner shell. So regardless of how many you've got paired, you have a very special situation with titanium, is that even at the upper limit, it can still have all of those electrons on the inner shell. So titanium might just be the best... Uh, transition metal uh, for Lena. And the other interesting thing about titanium is, as we've identified before, uh, there's plenty of room for cr crushing it down to iron. Uh, and obviously, there's smaller gains to be got uh, from moving out this way. But uh, titanium, uh, that, that, that uh, 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 nuclear volume uh, well that it can drop down from titanium is, is quite significant. And... Uh, uh, the other thing to note uh, is that uh, titanium seems to be um, uh, active in uh, the work of Me356, uh, um, uh, was uh, identified as potentially uh, a problem uh, by uh, Piantelli, and uh, uh, in the work of uh, uh, Suhas Ralkar. And we identified that uh, there was some potential production of vanadium. So it was moving in this direction. Uh, and also, Denaeum is using titanium. So here we have a, a reason why, potentially, uh, titanium may be a, a very valuable uh, element uh, for uh, low energy nuclear reactions, uh, cold nuclear uh, transmutation. Also, nickel still has this feature. So you could have it on nickel. You can have 22 on the inner. Uh, electron shell, but uh, of course it's got a bigger nucleus, uh, so uh, bigger uh, attraction there. Um, but the other electrons will drop out. But if you still kept it to 22, uh, then uh, it might be advantageous uh, for nickel, as you'd seen in uh, previous uh, charts. So uh, that for me is uh, a, a big win here. Uh, with relating to this whole notion of a sound uh, enabling uh, phonons or other means of creating phonons, like, I don't know, making it hotter, um, in, in, in the lattice or in the material, uh, in the gas or dense gas or in the liquid, uh, you could have a situation um, uh, where you've seen this uh, in sonofusion, uh, in um, 
uh, Suhas Ralkar's work. In fact, every every version of the reactor that we have observed transmutations in, the, both the, the foil produ producer, the um, fuel producer, and the actual reactor ash samples compared to the fuel samples, uh, we appear to have seen transmutation, and uh, the one common thing that Suhas has is a very large amount of sound. And in the case of the foil producing uh, equipment, uh, he said the water to bath doesn't get above 80 degrees. And additionally, the the fuel processor ha is water cooled, and uh, the actual processing of the fuel is done in water. And and so um, th this isn't necessarily a temperature thing. Um, obviously, with laser-based cavitation and, and sound-based cavitation, things like Leclerc come to mind. Uh, this is all involving sound. So we have real examples here of where sound uh, uh, phonons could uh, um, and have, or, or rather in these systems where there is a lot of phonons being uh, placed into the medium, um, there uh, is real Lena going on. And so I just wanted to uh, dwell on that point for a second before moving on. Um, so down here he's saying, thus in transatoms when in which Lorentz force acts in the direction of the nucleus, there are shells at the center of the transatoms. The magnetic field induction varies in the range 10 to the power 6 to 3 times 10 to the power 9. Okay, I'm just going to run through a few points. Now, okay, now this is really interesting. So uh, you can see the radius of the electron shell here and the nuclear radius. Um, and uh, it's talking uh, about those two factors. And this is really very uh, interesting to consider. The implementation of the solution with a minus sign before the root is expressed in that, for example, the electronic shell of transhelium will be inside the nucleus. So the it will be inside <laughs> the radius of the electron shell, inside the nuclear radius. Um, and this is something that uh, uh, was uh, is quite uh, profound when you consider what Danaeum are doing. Uh, they are looking at using titanium, which I've just discussed above, where it can store this maximum number of uh, paired electrons, 22, in its inner uh, shell. And uh, deuterium, uh, which has this, uh, uh, sorry, uh, transhelium, um, which could be formed from uh, two uh, deuterium um, uh, nuclei in, in a trans molecule. Um, maybe, potentially. Um, anyway, so th we're talking about transhelium here. It uh, would be inside the nucleus. Uh, the vector of magnetic induction at the center of the core of such transhelia is 10 to the power 17 tesla, and on its surface 10 to the power 9 tesla. Consequently, there can exist a stable, neutral charge in the, elect uh, in, in the electric charge, but a magnetic particle with a mass m equals 4 amu with a spin s equals 1. It is possible that a proton or helium can join such a particle. As a result, a lithium nucleus with mass m equals 5 amu is formed, which is masked for hydrogen, and accordingly a beryllium core with a mass of m equals 8 amu, which is masked for helium. Now, what they're saying here is that stable chemical elements with masses m equals 8, they just don't exist. So therefore, if you detect m equals 8 in your experiments, uh, and this uh, would indicate that there are uh, that this process is actually happening. Okay. Now he goes on, and this is interesting, and you might consider this uh, in, I think it's the 2001, maybe later, um, patent of um, uh, Adamenko, where he produced uh, large amounts of nickel-62 uh, very quickly uh, in his uh, experiments. In addition, the neutral transhelium, neutral transhelium can be absorbed by atomic nuclei of conventional chemical element. This is interesting because, again, I said earlier that um, uh, Leclerc was observing stepwise uh, production of elements uh, as if it, it just uh, absorbed helium. Um, if the neutral transhelium enters the nucleus uh, as an independent formation, like lump in manner porridge, then the nucleus grows by 4 AMU, keeping its Z-charge unchanged. Thus, for example, the new nickel isotope nickel-58 turns into nickel-62, however, with an altered nuclear structure. So it's kind of like saying that it's, it's, 
it's kind of like uh, since the electron shells are inside the uh, trans uh, helium, that uh, it's almost like you're, you're just adding four neutrons because the electrons are right there with the the um, uh, the protons. Uh, and so it turns into nickel-62, however, with an altered nuclear structure. Since the neutral transhelium has a spin equal to unity, the hyperfine structure of the spectral lines will appear in the optical spectrum of nickel-62. Is it really nickel-62? Is it some sort of chimeric type of combination? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to run through this because I want to get it out the door. I want you to get to look at this and, and uh, come back with some questions, hopefully, uh, for me to put to uh, Mashinsky uh, tomorrow. In addition, already existing coupled electrons in trans atoms can be preserved due to their own strong electromagnetic fields. In addition, there are indirect indications of the possible long-term existence of trans atoms in solids. This is very interesting because um, Shoulders was saying that, uh, you know, the, the um, uh, EVOs can go into... Um, metals, for instance, and they can stay in there indefinitely until they're triggered or deliberately blown up. And I actually am of the belief uh, that this sample uh, uh, from Hutchison, uh, this aluminium sample, is still 11 years later changing. Um, so uh, I need to do a long-term test by putting a, a glass dome over it and, and seeing if bits fall off it. But th this is a a thing, I mean, he's describing here in, in experiments 34 and 35, the activity of samples subjected to transmutation was delayed in time, tens of days, months. Also, in many experiments, the remnant magnetization of the products of the transmutation reactions is recorded. This is definitely something that uh, Hutchison has observed. Okay, so... Now, um, he's talking about some parameters here that we might want to include into the uh, calculators, um, the uh, Philip Power, uh, Parkamorph calculator. So I, I need to talk about um, the uh, dependence of radius on ordinary atom in, in nuclear charge here. And there's another property up here, uh, energy of magnetic interaction of two identical uh, trans atoms. So you've got oxygen and sulfur here and so on. And I, I really want to understand more about this uh, from Mashinsky. So thus, the two trans atoms are attracted to each other due to the magnetic fields created by the coupled electrons. In this case, the force of attraction will increase as the distance between the transatomic cores decreases. As the internuclear distance decreases, there will be exchange forces between the paired electrons belonging to different transatoms. This will lead to an additional attraction of two transatoms and ultimately to the socialization of their electrons. As a consequence, a dual core system is being created. In the future, other transatoms can join this system. Thus, a multinuclear system, the trans molecule, is formed. And so here we can see uh, he's suggesting two uh, oxygens uh, are uh, creating effectively sulfur-32. So this might lead to uh, the production of uh, sulfur, um, which is uh, sort of tra standard um, uh, Oshawa, George Oshawa reaction that we've observed it, apparently in, um, uh, what do you call it, in... Um, uh, the Nova reactors, and in fact, the uh, two aluminiums are fusing in here and making iron, and then on uh, here we see sulfur as well. So potentially there's there's oxygen uh, being influenced by um, the active agent, as it were, in this uh, aluminium, and, and and the active agent actually causes, uh, you know, interaction with. Uh, uh, the air um, uh, readily. It's like if you imagine, it's it's, it's a very powerful, kind of like an oxidant. But uh, as 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 you go on uh, in this paper, you will see that he suggests uh, that sort of uh, superchemical and chemical uh, uh, combinations. Uh, and, and in fact, Hutchison actually. Uh, was famed uh, and and shoulders uh, tried to analyze and and so did some German labs and other labs 
um, material that was produced that really didn't analyze as anything uh, that's normally known in, in science using normal science uh, um, uh, tools like EDS and WDS and uh, ICPMS. So uh, this is kind of what I was talking about uh, uh, in uh, uh, introduction uh, this morning to uh, Sochi. And uh, so he's talking about the uh, formation of a, tra uh, a trans molecule where he's combining three oxygens into this uh, uh, Z, uh, tw Z equals 24 with the three oxygen nuclei um, trapped in the sort of socialized uh, electron uh, um, orbital here. So it's saying the first shell contains the 22 paired electrons, the remaining two electrons are placed in the, on the second. Hence, from the form trans atoms, a trans molecule is created, a single multinuclear formation surrounded by an electronic bosonic cloud. It is obvious that the magnetic fields of the trans atoms automatically focus themselves on each other, thereby increasing the cross-section of their interaction. In addition, the applied ex uh, external magnetic field results in the effect. Um, this might be some guidance for actual uh, um, using uh, designer reactors. Uh, since not all atomic electrons can go uh, to the state of bound pairs, there are three possibilities for the existence of chimera trans atoms. The first case, uh, essentially, uh, it is p possible to form chemical molecules with both trans atoms and ordinary atoms on the basis of chemical bonds. So saying when converting an atom into a trans atom, a situation may occur in which the number of electrons is bound to a pair will be so on. In this case, the magnetic attraction between the, the uh, trans atom chemicals is less than the energy of thermal motion and so on. And it says for these, you get these kind of like uh, combination uh, the second case is the energies of the interacting magnetic trans atoms are uh, sufficient to form complexes of trans atoms based on their magnetic attraction, but is not enough to overcome the Coulomb barrier of repulsive atomic uh, electrons, uh, i.e., to form nuclear trans molecule. The third case, the third case, there is a formation of trans atoms of the nucleoid. Uh, nuclear trans molecule with the subsequent launch of transmutation reactions. So these are kind of levels of uh, interactions between uh, trans atoms and, and, and trans atom molecules uh, uh, with the bottom case uh, leading to um, uh, transmutation reactions.